Hey guys, Witchfire, official gameplay overview trailer. This game is on my radar. Looks very interesting. A war rages between the witches and the remnants of humanity ruled by the church. The gameplay looks really cool. In a really distant interesting. territory controlled by one of the witches, papal scouts have discovered a wreckage of a ship that had been lost for several centuries. Baldur's Gate 3? It carried a valuable artifact. The one gun? that could alter the course of the conflict. To no, recover it, guns. the Vatican has dispatched one of its best witch hunters. The Vatican? Okay. Only Jeez. he can face the witch by means of his powerful magic. Hunters like him are called prayers, and the substance running through his veins that gives him arcane powers is known as witch fire. You should have made it a warlock, I think. There's already a game called Warlock, though. FPS, when so. you reach your destination, you're Looks completely exhausted. Amazing. There's very little witch fire left in your blood. Oh my god, nudity. What One of the first things you must do is replenish your powers. The fastest way to do it is to fight the witch's minions, ghouls, and wraiths. Once they're dead, the witch fire they were made of will be yours. You know, I see that you're absurd. However, this won't be an easy prey. Uh, it looks really good, man. Wow. The world of Witchfire is a place where everything is trying to kill you. Monsters really prowl like the a, area. Almost like a Treasure Elden Ring uh, turn out to be deadly traps. Feeling to it. These guns. contraptions stay hidden from view. The world. If you waste bullets, ignore your stamina, and take your opponents for granted, you like will idiot. die. And this can happen in a myriad more ways. Ooh, Getting gun. killed means that you lose all your loot. Although it's possible to recover it, and the Ooh. monsters you've eliminated come back from the dead. Reminds me a bit of um, even worse. Shadow Once Warrior the witch too. senses the powerful intruder who hasn't died but then so again, far. Loot? She will start throwing deadly curses at you, called the calamities. These can raise the dead from their graves, or conjure a fog to unleash a hunt for your soul. Cool. She will stop at nothing to drive you out of her realm. And if this doesn't work and you still brazenly cling to life, amassing more power and a greater arsenal, Spells, then the witch relics. will dispatch new types of minions and set traps the likes of which you have not seen. The world will change, adapting to your progress. This really? means more witch fire to collect, but also more challenges to conquer. Interesting. That's different. You find refuge in an Almost old like hermitage, customizable. enveloped in a fog that hides you from the witch's sight. From oh, here, you will venture into her domain, oh, it's a hub. trying to find like the villain's lair. I love an that. enchanted mirror allows you to receive amazing inventions from the Vatican's gunsmiths. <laughs> I get the Vatican. Here, you can also transform the witch fire collected along the way yeah, nice. into skills that become more and more powerful. More healing. This transformation does more than simply make you stronger. You also gain understanding of how magic works. Without this Let's knowledge, recombine it with the guns. many places remain inaccessible, and many magical objects are nothing more than a piece of paper with strange scribblings or a simple shard of iron. Let's examine this weapon, kind of like made for the prayer in the Vatican workshop. If you're unable to see through its esoteric shroud, it looks like a regular rifle. Yeah. The more witch fire courses through your veins, the more secrets reveal themselves to you. Right, instance, upgrades. It turns out that the aforementioned rifle can hit several enemies with a single shot. This is how things are in this world. Wow. Where common folks see nothing but a regular weapon, a nice. seal with cool strange lore. symbols, I like the lore. a beautiful ring. A prayer recognizes brutally effective tools Lashes. of death. Spells based on one of the four elements, or magical signets that allow him to use telekinesis or teleportation. Oh shit. The prayer's task is simple. Telefrags, right? Kill the witch and recover the artifact she stole. However, simple doesn't mean easy. Luckily for you, the, the prayer has more tools at his disposal than superhuman powers or a magical arsenal. Some of these implements are called the Arcana. Crystals that are created from witch fire in the most magic-infused spots allow the prayer to alter reality. Okay. If ever so slightly. Will you enhance your spells with new abilities? Weaken uh. all of the witch's minions? 
Or perhaps you will prefer to improve your shooting skills for a short while. Oh, okay, like even more Still, skills. The most powerful force the prayer can Passive wield skills. is not a weapon, a spell, a magical object, or even the arcana. It's the freedom. When so you embark on your world. journey, you set your own goals. Would you like to find and defeat the guard keeping watch over the witch's keys? Go right ahead. Or perhaps you prefer to steal some gold and return to the hermitage. No so problem. Back, Why don't you test a new weapon and collect enough witch fire to develop another skill? There's Damn! Nothing stopping you. That thing like hunts enemies. Every step you make during your journey marks a choice. You can rush into a huge mob of enemies and try to execute them in a frenzied dance of death. Or opt for eliminating them one by one from afar. Mm -hmm. Steering clear from a fight is an option. Huge As scope. is provoking more fights for bigger rewards. This wow. freedom means that cool. there isn't just one correct method to defeat the Freezing witch. Sphere, I guess. The prayer is not bound by time restrictions. Oh, and the Vatican doesn't Wasn't care what methods he employs. A sharpshooter's agile fingers, a tactician's analytical mind, Acid. or special powers and magical objects. Freezing you can first. pick, choose, and match freely to achieve your goal. Yeah, I see a lot of customized. These are the bare bones on. of witch fire. Discovering the rest is up to you. I'm not going to that much more. Thought. Thought. The witch knows that the prayers are immortal. Her goal is not to kill you. Her goal is to take away your belief that she could be defeated. When faced with hardship, you decide whether to give in to despair or get back on your feet and resume the Always. fight. Always. Godspeed, prayer. Wow. Listen. Early access. I gotta, I gotta check out some, uh, some comments about this game or like some reviews. I did not expect this whatsoever. I didn't. I think it was just like I thought it was just like a you know, uh, hallway kind of like shooter, right? But no, apparently you get like a hub. You get to go wherever you want in the world. You have quests. I had no idea. You have like a leveling up system. I had no idea. I didn't know this. This game had like powers and I mean I know it had like magic powers, but I thought it was like kind of like gun unlocks, you know. But no, apparently you can level up. You got like loot that you can drop when you die. Kind of something like, uh, something like again in um, in uh, Elden Ring with the with the experience, right? Except this time it's the loot. Um, I I did not expect any of this, and also enjoyed the way the trailer was done when you know the guy the guy was talking to us about the gameplay. It's kind of like also telling you about the story at the same time. It's like about the lore, right? So you got like gameplay, but you also got like lore in the background. I think that's amazing. This looks really, really, really good. And I definitely, definitely want to play it. I'm going to put it on my list right now. I'm going to pre-order or something because, man, it looks really awesome. If the reviews are good, I'm in. I'm 100% in. This looks really, really cool. Unexpected. Thank you for watching. Peace.